Welcome to my channel. As per requested for the next book to read, to be the book of Proverbs, here it is. If you'd like to listen to the Bible being read, I do have a playlist dedicated to reading the books of the Bible, which I have read many of the books from Old Testament and New Testament. Okay, I'm going to read a few chapters, starting with chapter 1. The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice and judgment and equity, to give subtlety to the simple, to the young man knowledge and discretion. A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a, mind, a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. To understand a proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of my knowledge. The fools despise wisdom and instruction. My son, hear the instruction of thy father, and forsake not the law of thy mother. For they shall be an ornament of grace unto your head and chains about your neck. My son, if sinners entice you, do not consent. If they say, Come with us, let us lay way for blood, let us lurk privately for the innocent without cause. Let us swallow them up alive as the grave and whole as those that go down into the pit. We shall find all precious substance. We shall fill our houses with spoil. Cast in thy lot among us. Let us all have one purse. My son, walk not thou in the way with them. Refrain your foot from their path. For their feet run to evil and make haste to shed blood. Surely in vain the net is spread in the sight of any bird. And they lay wait for their own blood. They look privately for their own lives. So are the ways of everyone that is greedy of gain, which takes away the life of the owners thereof. Wisdom cries out. She utters her voice in the streets. She cries in the chief place of concourse in the openings of the gates. In the city she utters her words, saying, How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge. Turn you! at my reproof behold i will pour out my spirit unto you i will make known my words unto you because i have called and you have refused i've stretched out my hand and no man regarded but you've set at nothing all my counsel and with none of my reproof i also will laugh at your calamity i will mock when you fear comes when your fear comes as desolation and your destruction comes as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish comes upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me, for they that hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord, they would none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with with their own devices for the turning away of the simple shall slay them and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them but whosoever hearkens unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil chapter 2 my son if you will receive my words and hide my commandments unto you so that thou incline your ear unto wisdom and apply your heart to understanding Yes, if you cry after knowledge and lift up your voice for understanding, if you seek her as silver and you search for her as for hid treasures, you shall, then shall thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom. Out of his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. He lays up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. He keeps the paths of judgment and preserves the way of his saints. Then shall you understand righteousness and judgment and equity. Yes, every good path. When wisdom endures into your heart and knowledge is pleasing into your soul, discretion shall preserve you, understanding shall keep thee, deliver thee from the way of the evil man, from the man that speaks forward things, who leave the paths of rightness to walk in the waves of darkness, who rejoice to do evil and delight in the forwardness of the wicked, whose ways are crooked, and they forward in their past to deliver thee from the strange woman, even from the stranger which flatters with her words, which forsakes the guide of her youth and forgets the covenant of her God. For her house inclines unto death and her past unto the dead. None that go unto her return again, neither take they hold of the paths of life. That thou may walk in the way of good men and keep the paths of the righteous. For the upright shall dwell in the land. 
and the perfect shall remain in it. But the wicked shall be cut off from the earth, and the transgressors shall be rooted out of it. Chapter 3 My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. For length of days and long life and peace and shall they add to thee. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about your neck. Write them upon the, the table of your heart. So you shall find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lead not unto your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him. And he shall direct your paths. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It shall be health to your navel and marrow to your bones. Honor the Lord with the substance and with the first fruits of all your increase. So shall your barns be filled with plenty and your presses shall be burst out with new wine. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be wary of his correction. For whom the Lord loves, he corrects even as a father the sons in whom he delights. Happy is the man that finds wisdom and the man that gets understanding. For the merchandise of it is better than merchandise of silver and the gain thereof thine fine gold. She is more precious than rubies and all the things you can desire are not to be compared unto her. Length of days is in her right hand and in her left hand riches and honor. Her ways are ways of pleasantness and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her and her hand and happy is every one that retains her. The Lord by wisdom has found the earth. By understanding has he established the heavens. By his knowledge the depths are broken up and the clouds drop down the dew. My son, let not them depart from your eyes. Keep sound wisdom and discretion. So shall they be life unto your soul and grace to your neck. You shall, then shall you walk in the way safely and your foot shall not stumble. When you lie down, you shall not be afraid. Yes, you shall lie down and and your sleep shall be sweet. Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked when it comes. For the Lord shall be your confidence, and shall keep your foot from being taken. Withhold not good from them to whom it is due, when it is in your power of your hand to do it. Say not unto your neighbor, Go, come again, and tomorrow I'll give to you when you have it with you. Devise not evil against your neighbor, seeing he dwells securely by you. Strive not with the man without cause, if he has done you no harm. Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways, for the forward is abomination to the Lord, but his secret is with the righteous. The curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked, but he blesses the habitation of the just. Surely he scorns the scorners, but he gives grace unto the lowly. The wise shall inherit glory. But shame shall be the promotion of fools. Chapter 4. Hear, you children, the instruction of a father, and attend to no understanding. For I give you good doctrine. Forsake ye not my law, for I was my father's son. Tender, and only beloved in the sight of my mother. He taught me also, and said unto me, Let your heart retain my words, keep my commandments, and live. Get wisdom, get understanding, don't forget it, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve you. Love her, and she shall keep you. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all your getting, get understanding. Exalt her, and she shall promote you. She shall bring you to honor when you do embrace her. She shall give to your head an ornament of grace. A crown of glory shall she deliver to you. Hear, O my son, and receive my sayings, and the years of your life shall be many. I have taught you in the way of wisdom. I have led you in the right paths. When you go, your steps shall not be straightened. And when you run, you shall not stumble. Take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go. Keep her, for she is your life. Enter not in the path of the wicked. And go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it. Pass not by it. Turn from it. Pass away. For they sleep not except they have done mischief. And their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. For they eat the bread of wickedness. And drink the wine of violence. But the path of the just is as the shining light. That shines more and more unto the perfect day. The way of the wicked is as darkness. They don't know what they stumble. My son, intend to my words. Incline your ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from your eyes. Keep them in the middle of your heart. 
for they are life unto those that find them and health to all their flesh. Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Put away from you a forward mouth and perverse lips, but far from you. Let your eyes look right on and let your eyelids look straight before you. Ponder your path of your feet and let all your ways be established. Turn not to the right hand nor to the left. Remove thy foot from evil. Chapter 5 My son, attend unto my wisdom and bow your ear to my understanding that you may regard discretion and that thy lips may keep knowledge for the lips of a strange woman drop as a honeycomb and her mouth is as smoother than oil but her end is bitter as wormwood sharp as a two-edged sword her feet goes down to death her steps takes hold on to hell lest you should sh ponder the path of her life her ways are movable that you cannot know them hear me now therefore you children to depart not from the words of my mouth remove your thy way far from her come not near the door of her house lest you give your honor unto others and your years unto the cruel lest strangers be filled with thy wealth and thy labors be in the house of a stranger and you mourn at the last when thy flesh and thy body are consumed and say how have i hated instruction and my heart despised reproof and have not obeyed the voice of my teachers nor inclined my ear to them that instructed me i was almost in all evil in the midst of the congregation and assembly Drink waters out of your own cistern and running waters out of your own well. Let your fountains be dispersed abroad and rivers of waters in the streets. Let them be only thine own and not strangers with thee. Let the fountain be blessed and rejoice with the wife of the youth. Let her be as the loving hind and pleasant roe. Let her breast satisfy thee at all times and be thou ravished always with her love. And while, why wilt thou, my son, be ravished with the strange woman and embrace the bosom of a stranger for the ways of man are before the eyes of the lord and he ponders all his goings his own iniquities shall take the wicked himself and he shall be holden with the cords of his sins he shall die without instructions and in the greatness of his folly he shall go astray and i'm going to stop there and we'll start with chapter six stay tuned for more reading of the word of god and please check out the playlist and listen to the Word of God. Feed your soul with the Word and strengthen your spirit. Blessings be upon you. Thank you for stopping in.